Fine Mark gets a ghost placing game on Smith Racer. We're back with some more NASCAR 21 Ignition. Back again with some more career mode. And only this time we're gonna to only this time. Let me turn up my volume. Only this time we're gonna to go ahead and head to the next career. Only this time we're gonna race in the Daytona Road Course. This might be the first time you'll ever see me race in the road course because I don't know if that's gonna be it. But I'm gonna have to practice first because I didn't get a chance to play this while I was down there or when I got a chance to play it during Christmas. But if you like the if you like the first NASCAR 21 ignition video, make sure you like this one. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to go ahead and say so don't miss a single one of my NASCAR videos. And make sure you click on notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Tomorrow was New, tomorrow was New Year's Day. And the day before that was New Year's Eve. It's finally 2022. So let's go ahead. And have a good year. How about that? Let's just hope it doesn't stink like the other two ones. Alright. Let's head to the next one. Oh, and also make sure you follow me on TikTok, Little Red Racer, all lowercase letters. Just letting you know that my username is all lowercase letters. Let's go to. And in case you're wondering, that was the Daytona 500. I had to restart the race and had to restart everything from the first video, just so I can make the laps a bit longer. That way, you guys can have more time watching it. So just having a short race, we're gonna go ahead and make it longer, not too long. Because I don't want to waste in all your time. Like I said, we're going one race at a time in each episode. Just let you know, I never raced in the road course, so let's get into it. Take it away, Alex Aiden. NASCAR returns to Daytona. I'm Alex Aiden, and this is, in fact, Daytona. However, we'll be making right turns today. Daytona Road Course is a staple in the sports car world, but this layout is still very new to the NASCAR Cup Series. Chase Elliott took home the inaugural win in 2020, and this weekend we get to see who will end up with the trophy. Today's practice will be an hour-long session, which isn't a lot of time to try to dial in these cars for a relatively new track. The drivers will have to be very detailed in their feedback, and the crew chiefs will have to be very precise in their changes to get the cars dialed in, not just for the race, for qualifying as well. Let's go track side for today's practice session. Thank you, Axe Aiden. And just to let you know that I got plenty of games I got for Christmas, so I'm going to run through all of them this month. But, but also, make sure you don't forget to watch the NASCAR 2022 see NASCAR 2022 season. I have to tell you this right now because that well, it's not 2021 anymore. And what? And I'm playing a game that's based on the 2021 schedule. What's up, fooling around? All right. So it looks like number 53 is moving into the track. You can see that he's moving very very close. And I'll move up just so you can see. As you can see, he's moving up towards here. And pit road is right here. So right now, he's moving up to here. Right behind him. You need to get the best time to beat this guy. And if we don't beat this guy, we need to make this guy. Because he's part of my team for Joe Gibbs Racing. And look at all these guys. They're starting from... Somehow, number 53 is making a really good thing here. 
Right now, is just make it to Dogleg get into the racetrack in the infield. On round three here, then make it back to the speedway. Then there's a couple loops here, right here, and right here. It was on about one, it was on about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen turns, I think. I may have to count it before, though. It looks like it was already getting started. So let's just say we knock out a few things. Let's knock out a nice consistent run. All right, here we go. I'm gonna make it three laps around the complex. Hmm, you're absolutely good thing so far. Uh oh. All right, here we go. And the turning, oh my god, the turning makes me feel like I'm actually driving one of these cars. Hey, look at that. We got Giggity over at 423. I'm gonna head up to get a closer look at what number he is. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. And that bump really is realistic. It's like we gotta make sure we don't hit that thing too hard in the actual race. And that too. What are those pots doing right here? Uh, almost coming close to that guy. Now you gotta have, now during the practice I have to pretend that this is the actual race. Because I need to get the best time. And besides, I need to make sure that I get the best time during qualifying because I hate being in last place. Hey, right, coming up close to him. Who is that? Brian Priest? Is that William Byron? In the American form. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Turn. Whoa. <laughs> Was Chase Briscoe. <laughs> That's Chase Briscoe, I mean. <laughs> that was a good one. 
Alright, I'm gonna crash into those pots. Oh wait, those aren't pots, those are numbers. What do those things even mean, by the way? Alright, we're gonna run one more lap around this complex. Once we're done with this lap, we're gonna head one more lap, and then we're gonna head to qualify. Then we're gonna see how we did. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ouch. Yeah, the damage looks bad. It looks really bad. And due to damage of the car, I don't think this thing is gonna work really, really well. We might as well hit the garage and see if we can fix it. What? Let's see how we... Oh my... Oh my word. Look at all these guys. Let's see, 14. Where is number 14 at? Hmm. Also, look at these guys. They're going to be racing <clears throat> perfectly. I'm not going to race just like that. I have to race like myself. And I feel so sorry for number 14. He's right there. And bet that jump really changed his mind. So number, so number fourteen is just. So let's just see where is number fourteen at. Hmm. Let me see where he's at. It's Chris Busher in number seventeen. Where is fourteen? Huh, I guess they're not there. I guess I gotta race just like that. Wait, wait, wait. No. Nice. Oh, whatever. Oh, Chase Briscoe. In fifth, right here. Chase Briscoe. 14 in the Ford. Right there, he is making absolute craziness. Even though that I made him crash into the bump. But, that, but you gotta admit, that was really funny. Alright, so I guess Yeah Alright, here I have first In front of Chase Elliott, Ross Chastain, Martin Truex Jr. and Chase Briscoe I think that I think with the run he had I think Chase Briscoe And I Kinda have some type of rivalry together now. Yeah, I think Chase Briscoe's my rival. Welcome to Daytona Qualifying on the road course. I'm Alex Hayden, and this session is a little different than our standard cookie cutter qualifying session. It features two time sessions in which groups of cars are able to make runs to condense the field into the qualifying order. The first session is all 40 cars, followed by a session where the fastest 12 will fill out the field. Cars are already on pit road, the drivers are already strapped in, and we're ready to see some of the antics that happen in this road course qualifying session. Who's going to have the speed to put themselves into the next round, and hopefully into a top starting position for this weekend's race? Let's head down to the track and get the session underway. Alright, let me see what we have here. Looks like these guys are about to get started. Now we need to make sure we get the best time because if we fall last place, oh my god, if we fall in last place, I'm not going to be happy. I don't know what they meant by two qualifying sessions. I think we're just running two laps around the place. And then somehow we're going to have to run a second time around the course. Let me 
down, slow down, slow down. Returning, returning, returning. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, yeah, here you go. Back on track. Wait, I'm getting distracted. Oh, I'm making it up to two minutes, dang it. Hey, we get a second chance. Yes. Alright, this time we're gonna be serious. This time we're gonna be serious. No roller coaster rides. No fooling around. It's a good thing Danny Hamlin's in the track. Even though that Kyle Bush, Danny Hamlin, are and Martin Trex Jr. Are teams with me and Joe Gibbs racing. And practically the whole entire team is built with Toyotas. Ah, oh, come on. Again? Please tell me they're gonna fix it. Please tell me they're gonna fix it. Please, they get fixed. I need best time here. And they don't fix it. They don't fix it. Why don't they fix my car? Why don't they ever fix it? Oh, my neck hurts. Ouch. Even though I went to the gym yesterday. Please tell me you fix the car. Please tell me you fixed the cart. Oh, they god, they fixed the car. Why didn't they repair the car once I hit pit road? They usually do that in NASCAR Heat 5. And it's gonna be slow on the turns. And then speeding it through on the straightaways. That usually works with me. Even though there's no one to draft with. Or bump draft with. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Oh, come on. Alright, light damage. Hit light damage. Alright, we only hit light damage. If I get a damaged car, it's gonna do poorly in the trap. And it's gonna affect my time. And I do not want to be in last place. I think we only get two laps. That way we'll get a much better time.
and he make bare time. But who's this guy in front of us? That was AJ Elmendinger. Whoa! Oh, that shadow scared me. It's a good thing that's just the airplane. Yeah, I can see that. I know that. I know the spotter is helping me, but sometimes it can be a bit annoying. Now, who's this guy now? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Draft. The draft right behind. The guys, guys, wait. Oh, it's number 15. Who drives the number 15 again? Yeah, we're definitely gonna be in last place due to all this stuff in the way. <laughs> the fender goes inside <laughs> with the crashing physics. Alright, we're definitely gonna be in last place. Let's just face the fact that I'm too crazy when it comes to being in this. I actually kind of knew it that we're gonna be in last. Kyle Larson, Larson is in sixth place. Is good. Dane Hamlin is in fourth. He's in Joe Gibbs Racing. Now I'm in Joe Gibbs Racing, so I guess it's kind of okay. We're gonna go ahead and head to the race. Hope you guys are ready for a bunch of road course action. Like I said, if you don't want to miss a single NASCAR 21 Ignition video, make sure you click on the notification bell. Like the video if you like racing and if you like, make sure you like the video. If you like it when I race in road courses and many other stuff or crashing into any other stuff. But like I said, maybe I might do a crash Maybe I might get a crash into incoming traffic. Like, running into the cars. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll give you a demonstration. You see, I'm going to be driving these cars. Pretend that this car is me. And this car is, and this car is the pack. I'm going to be driving backwards counterclockwise where they hang to the other side and then will it will it be another crash that launches me in the air or will it be a crash that's gonna send me head on and flying out of the car like in gta 4 we shall see maybe in the next video if i try to do another nascar time one mission video It's a good thing that Kyle Larson isn't first, because that would be my worst nightmare. I have to win the Cup Series. I have to win the championship. So that way he doesn't win. So what do we say? Let's knock it out of the park. Alright, everyone stand up. This is National Anthem. Doing it too. And though you practically can't see my head. Race is over. The cars are dried up and ready to go. Let's 
Head trackside to get the engines fired for today's race. Alright, even though we've been through some difficulties throughout the race and throughout the video, Chase Elliott is going to start up in front. Thank God, I do not want Larson to be up in front. If he does, that would be my worst nightmare. We're going to try to do this a bit. It's not that. Like I said, we have to go slow when it comes we have to go slow when there's a turn. I'll be back after he's back. Alright, I'm back. Now, let's get into the race. Let's knock it out of the park. Oh, stupid idiots. Stupid idiots. Why? Why? Stupid ignorant idiots. Everyone sounds like a lawnmower. This is going to get really difficult for me because I never. Mm -hmm. Somehow, when it comes to road course racing, I wish I can't take that much damage. Oh, what the heck is wrong with you? What the heck is wrong with you? It's stopping and moving and stopping and moving and stopping and moving. Let's do this again. Let's do this again. Okay. I do not want to have a damaged car during the race. I have to get another win in the career session. Okay. And was and was with the stopping moving again. All right, perfect. An opening. What is this? Traffic jam. Now I know how my mom feels when we go on vacation, and we have to sit through this traffic. Ah. Stop and moving again. What's wrong with everybody? Okay. I have to touch the grass. I have to touch the grass. Though I had to, though I had to touch him, though I had to touch Alex Bowman, even though he took his name away from Jimmy Johnson. Sorry, Ryan Laney. Uh, it's a drag race. A drag race to the finish line. Uh, you're adopted. <sighs> ah, okay. Okay. Ah, <laughs> okay, calm down. Thank car right. We're just in the first lap. And already there's a whole bunch of chaos. Imagine what it would be like in Bristol.
I just need to get past Quinn and Horse Hoops. Quinn Hoop. And double O zero. And Ryan Blaney in the number 12 is starting to become my enemy in this race. Even though that it was pretty crazy in the actual race I saw on TV. This could matter. This could be my chance to get a point. This could be my chance to get playing points in the NASCAR Cup Series. So good. Just need to get past. Just need to get past peanut butter jelly McLeod. Still in the number seventy-eight as usual. When will he learn? He's touching the grass. Oh no, he's touching the grass. Teacher, he's touching the grass. I'm gonna tell the teacher on you. They're touching the grass. You can't touch the grass. Only I can touch the grass. See? Only I get to touch the grass. And no one. There is smoke coming out of my car. Did I make my adjustments right? As if I didn't. What's going on? See, there's smoke out of my car again. I think there's an engine problem. catch up to Cody Ware. Why is his name Cody Ware anyway? That's a question I don't like to ask him after the race. I might try to ask him why is he called Cody Ware anyway? Is his name Cody Wearall because he doesn't wear anything except his racing suit? Right, we're just gonna ignore the dust or the smoke coming out of my car because I think that's just the tire. Because I think that's just the tire that's being worn out 
for breaking. And I just passed my teammate Martin Trix Jr. And he's catching up like a hot bullet. Can we catch up to William Byron? Yes, yes, we can. It passed William Byron. And now we're in the top 20. No. I thought that could be my chance. What? I have to pass him. Yes, we passed him. And now we must take 17th place. We take 17th place. Alright. Looks like we increased. But for now on, I shall use road courses as a method to get past William Byron. Now let's review who's in first place. All right, Kyle Larson, fifth place, and he's in the number five car. Pretty understandable. And somehow Daytona 500 winner, somehow Daytona 500 winner in the actual Daytona 500 in 2021, he won in the road course. Pretty impressive. I thought Chase Elliott or Dan Hamlin might win. Even though they've been going at it. And the championship for Phoenix. The 17th place. That has to be my best one yet. And I bet William Byron and Martin Truex Jr. are super furious at me. For passing them like that. Oh. We finished. You should check the replay. You should check the replay. Look at that. Look at how amazing the replay is. Although I bumped into him. That wasn't really great. See, I tried to pass. Good thing I passed Daniel Suarez. That's in the number 99. And I should be doing the world a favor. In this part, this is where I struggle to get in front. Because driving in this game is like driving an RC car that can't turn properly. See? Oh wait, the tires move in the replay now? Oh, thank God. Because back before I play, because before I made that video during Christmas, the wheels didn't move in the replay, but I guess it can move in the career mode. See, I pass. I touched. Oh, 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 I have to go back. That was sick, man. It was like I was doing a kickflip, but with a metal can. So, what's now? So, what's next? I bet they're going to make skateboards, but the skateboards are going to be these guys. There we go. I pass Ryan Blaney, and bet he's really, really mad. Team Penske is really going to be mad at me just by doing that.
really, really good. I didn't actually think, I didn't think I was actually going to do it. There's Kyle Bush. The Eminem's man. But it said he's interstate batteries. We're gonna look at We're gonna look at Chase Elliott. Cause I really thought he was gonna win. Cause I really thought he was gonna win even though that he was in first place. Ah, uh, but Kyle Lars, but Larson made an epic fail. Look at him with the National Guard. You don't need a National Guard anymore because when I'm racing in the Cup Series, everyone is going to be safe from this guy. But like I said, 17th place. Really impressive. Clap your hands for me. Clap your hands for me. We did an excellent job. Now we shall see what other racetrack. Oh. It's like in the next race we're going to head to Dixie Vodka 400 at Miami Homestead. So we're 25th. So we're 25th in this season standing. Now look at this. Larson is just. Larson is just third in the season standings. But we should. But we can make him be in 10th. That's how long we can make him go to the future races. Well, we may. Like the old leprechaun we will say. Well, we cannot find a whole pot of gold. But we can help him find some gold. The Joe Gibbs Racing is just 74th points. And Hendrick Motorsports is 67th. We can do this, guys. All right, uh, front row motorsports, Stuart Haas Racing, Team Kensky, 32XI Racing, and your motorsports again. But yeah, number 20, Joe Gibbs Racing, I'm going to win. They're not, of course I am. Only Toyota. As, but only Toyota has the largest points. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my NASCAR 21 Ignition videos. This has been Lil Red Racer in the 25th position. We're moving on up, guys. We're moving on up. Keep cheering on for me. As I keep winning this series. But like I said. Alright. See ya. This is. Alright. This has been Little Red Racer. Signing out with another video. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.